There's no telling what can happen from this. You know, chicken salad's not the opposite of tuna. Salmon's the opposite of tuna, because salmon swim against the current, and the tuna swim with it. Good for the tuna. Uh, George, you know, that woman just looked at you. So what? What am I supposed to do? Go talk to her. Elaine, bald men with no jobs and no money who live with their parents <laughs> don't approach strange women. Well, here's your chance to try the opposite. Instead of tuna salad and being intimidated by women, chicken salad and going right up to them. Yeah, I should do the opposite. I should. If every instinct you have is wrong, then the opposite would have to be right. Yes. I will do the opposite. I used to sit here and do nothing and regret it for the rest of the day. So now I will do the opposite and I will do something. Excuse me, uh, I couldn't help but notice that you were looking in my direction. <laughs> oh, yes, I was. You just ordered the same exact lunch as me. <laughs> my name is George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents. I'm Victoria. Hi. <laughs> Are you growing a beard? Why shave every day? Just grows right back. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm just not interested in how I present myself. If those kind of superficialities are important to you, this probably isn't gonna work. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. It's not the end of the world. Hey, baby, how about a little tongue action, huh? <laughs> yeah, stick your tongue down his throat. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Should we just move? It won't be necessary. <laughs> Shut your traps and stop kicking the seats! We're trying to watch the movie! And if I have to tell you again, we're gonna take it outside and I'm gonna show you what it's like! You understand me? <laughs> Now shut your mouths or I'll shut them for you. And if you think I'm kidding, just try me. Try me. Because I would love it! Are you sure you don't want to come up? I mean, it's only 9.30. I don't think we should. We really don't know each other very well. Who are you, George Costanza? I'm the opposite of every guy you've ever met. Why don't you tell me about some of your previous work experience? Oh, all righty. Uh, my last job was in publishing. I uh, got fired for having sex in my office with the cleaning woman. Go on. Uh, all right, there. well, before that, I was in real estate. Uh, I quit because my boss wouldn't let me use his private bathroom. <laughs> oh, that was it. Do you talk to everybody like this? Of course. Well, my niece told me you were different. I am different, yeah. yeah. But I gotta tell you, you are the complete opposite of every applicant we've seen. Uh, Mr. Steinbrenner, sir. There's someone here I'd like you to meet. This is Mr. Costanza. He's one of the applicants. Nice to meet you. Well, I wish I could say the same, but I must say, with all due respect, I find it very hard to see the logic behind some of the moves you have made with this fine organization. In the past 20 years, you have caused myself and the city of New York a good deal of distress as we have watched you take our beloved Yankees and reduce them to a laughing stock, all for the glorification of your massive ego. Hire this man. <laughs> 